All right, guys. So today I'm gonna make a video of my car. I'm doing like a walk around and all the all the mods I have done to the car and stuff. So you guys can maybe copy it, you know, or get an idea of what my car has done. Because I know there's a few people that always ask in the comments uh, what my car has done. So yeah, I'm gonna show you that and then uh, show you the engine bay and all the mods and what what tune I'm running also. So for the interior, I haven't done anything to it. It is all stock. It's a uh, 2013 BMW 328i X-Drive. It's a sport line. Not them sport, just a regular sport line. See, with the red interior. That's what kind of uh, got my attention when I come to buy this car. It's silver with black mirror caps. I'm pretty sure it's not OEM, but the, I guess the guy bought it, that, or that traded it in, put black mirror caps on the car. I am for sure gonna get the M Sport bumper very soon so I can get rid of that uh, regular bumper. All right, so if you notice, I have two different wheels. These are the OEM wheels, the Sportline wheels, and the back are E90 wheels from a three series also. These are the OEM ones, those are not. The reason I have these fronts and those rears is because uh, the rear ones of those, uh, they cracked and it kept uh i had got it welded once but it didn't uh it worked for like six months it, and then it re-cracked i uh, went to the muffler shop and then not the muffler shop the welding shop and they told me it was it was there was additionally another crack now so in total there was three i used, used to just have two but now i have i had three on the wheel so i said and he said it wasn't worth welding because it was most likely going to crack again right away so then i just went on like the facebook marketplace looked for some three series wheels bmw wheels and i found those for 60 bucks he had the pair they're the exact same spec as the fronts 18 by 8 so i just picked those up and i switched the tires on the old wheels the old wheels that were like those onto those so the exact same tire just different wheel so it has a stock tire size 225s all around but besides that the car is pretty much stock on the outside besides some stickers and stuff like that but that's pretty much it oh and the headlights the, he the headlights are aftermarket i forgot to mention that they're they're aftermarket because my car came stock with halogen headlights i'll probably put a picture so you can see before how it looked like all right so now i'm inside the car so i'm pop the hood and i'm gonna show you guys what i have done under the hood and what brands they are so like that if you like it you can go and purchase them yourself to pop the hood all you just got to pull the latch twice as it says right there since this car does not have the hood latch in front as like a safety it just has those two and then all you gotta do is pull up So this is a 328i xDrive, so you have the N20, the four cylinder engine with single turbo. And let's start on this side. This is my Evolution Raceworks a charge pipe. I got this done uh, for like pre preventative maintenance because it's common for these charge pipes, the stock ones to blow or like rip, break, whatever terms you want to say uh after like aggressive driving or stuff like that and it'll most likely crack or break and then you have a boost leak and i didn't want to deal with any of that so i just bought this before any of that ever happened and it's a two-piece so you see it connects to the throttle body goes there and then it has that and that's where it connects to that second piece down there it's a two-piece and that coupler holds it together after that was the downpipe i'm gonna see if you guys can see it Oh, right there it's a catalyst downpipe you can kind of see the name on there not the name but the the printed uh it's like welded on there like the label right there that square piece that's the name uh, that's like the name they welded onto it it's a it's a circuit works downpipe i'll show a picture also of the stock one compared to the, that one it's a catalyst downpipe i got it off ebay it was the cheapest downpipe you could buy for an N20, uh, well not not necessarily the cheapest one, but the cheapest like name brand, because 
all the other ones on eBay had no name, no name, and this one actually had a name. And then as you can see, it has the plate welded onto it that shows you the name. But yeah, that's the catalyst downpipe I did after I did the charge pipe. So I forgot to mention, I actually did the muffler delete before the downpipe. As you can see, there's no muffler back here. And they just split into two, into the stock ones. And I also got the, the what's it called? The exhaust flap right there. I had got, I have it welded open because one time after I got the muffler delete, the car was decently loud. So it would make the exhaust flap rattle and it would be annoying. So then I got it welded open. So now it doesn't, it doesn't vibrate, doesn't shake, doesn't make a noise. And like, it's better to be open, I guess. And it could be a little bit louder, but yeah. So basically I don't have one. It's there, but it's not working. So the most recent mod I did to my car, as y'all can see on the channel, is the intercooler, the stepped intercooler from Bergen Motorsports. You can't really see it with this bumper. You could kind of not really. It's better when you have the S4 bumper. It exposes it a lot more. But yeah, that's pretty much it for mod wise I have done to my car. I still have stock intake, even stock uh, paper filter i still have it i still haven't even upgraded that but i do want to upgrade the intake but for that i really just want to upgrade the inlet also and if you have an n20 you know what i'm talking about it's the piece that connects the the turbo to the intake i'm pretty sure it's that right there it's that one the inlet i want to upgrade that and the intake at the same time since i'm gonna be there i don't want to have to upgrade the intake then buy the inlet then to take the intake back off and then do the inlet so I'm probably gonna order both at the same time. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So for tuning, I went with boot mode from Pro Tuning Freaks. I am currently running their stage 293 octane tune. And when you buy a tune from them, they also offer a free transmission tune for the eight speed that I have. So I have that installed also. And yeah, I'll show you the Wi-Fi agent that I bought. And it's not exactly from Pro Tuning Freaks website. I bought it off a guy named Gavin Rich Richmond, I think on Facebook uh i will link uh his facebook uh down below because uh you could get it way cheaper from him and it's the exact same thing does the exact same stuff and if you ever have problems he's always good he always helps you out you know he doesn't he's not scared to talk to you or he would just won't sell it to you and then not tell you anything anymore so yeah i went with him because it was half the price it does the exact same thing and he shipped it pretty fast so yeah that's it and right now i'm gonna show you the his Wi-Fi agent looks exactly like the one from Pro Tuning Freak. All right, so here I'm inside the car. As you can see, it's connected right now. And I ran the cable up through here, all around right here. You can see it all through here and it pops up right here. There's a video on my channel of how I did it. But here it is, it looks identical to the ones they sell, you know, right here. And you turn on the car and then you just connect it to your phone. I will show you that, but I'm using my phone to record, so I can't. And then you can run live gauges and all that stuff. You can data log, and you can also flash your car with that. I'm also gonna mention that I have ran their Stage 2 E30 tune from boot mode. It works good. You could tell a difference. Uh, there is a difference. You could. I felt it a lot more from a dig. That's where I really felt the difference. You could feel like that punch. That the launch is actually, it's more hard than uh, the 93 tune one. But yeah, because I know some people are scared to run the E30. But I do also have a video on my YouTube channel of what I did and how I did it and how much gas I put and how much E85 I put in the car so I can make that E30 blend. But yeah, but that's pretty much it for this video. That's all I have done to my BMW. Uh, next, I may buy a meth kit. I, I found a deal. My friend has one. He's going to sell it. And uh, it's a deal I cannot pass. I can probably get that meth kit for half the price for my friend because he's not going to need it and the original price is like 420 430 and i can and i know i can get a, a discount from him so i'm probably gonna do that and yeah and i'm probably gonna be running meth next but that's pretty much it for this car i hope for this coronavirus stuff to go already so i can hit the track and hopefully break my personal record of a 13.4 i really hope this car can break the 12s with the stage 2 e30 tune from pro tuning freaks and boom mode so yeah i'm really looking forward for that and i also in the future want to run that xhp transmission tune i heard it's better more aggressive 
so hopefully that in the near future i'm gonna get so yeah stay tuned subscribe like comment i'll see you guys in the next one and yeah